Here are the top 20 small business tax deductions most taxpayers overlook. Come on over, let me show you how to save thousands on your taxes. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. And if you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> today, I want to have a conversation about the top 20 overlooked business tax deductions. And this is kind of important because if you properly deduct the right expenses, you can save thousands on your taxes. For small business owners, there are a few sweeter phrases than small business tax deductions right after all everyone wants the same thing we want to save money and small business tax deductions allow business owners to do just that but in most states business owners just are not aware and a lot of people millions of americans millions of a uh, million of american small business owners are not aware of all the small business tax deductions that are available to them so let me first go into the nitty-gritty here number one travel expenses so if you are frequently on the go, you definitely, definitely look into, you should look into deducting your travel expenses. So for a business expense to qualify as travel, it must be away from the city or area in which you conduct business. You must also be away from your tax home for longer than a full work day. So types of deductible travel expenses include airfare, tolls, taxis, and lodging. Number two business property rent so if you rent your business property you can write off your lease or rental payments from taxes alternatively if you run your business from home you can also run there's something called eligibility test with the irs to see if you are entitled to any deductions so the types of uh, deductible home ex home business expenses include mortgage insur interest insurance utilities repairs and depreciation and if you have, if you want more info, you can go to IRS. There is a, a great publication called the publication 587 and the IRS explains everything in there. Number three, professional services. So things like uh, particularly advertising and marketing, as well as legal and professional fees. A lot of uh, small business owners make the mistake of overlooking advertising and marketing. So as long as you can prove that those expenses are related to your business, you can claim back any money spent on ordinary advertising and marketing purchases. Here I'm talking about things like billboards, business cards, yellow page ads, as well as hiring a freelancer to, to design, for example, a business logo or sending thank you cards to clients. And uh, in, if you ever need to hire a legal or accountant professional for your business, you can deduct 100% of their fees. Number four contracted labor so if you use an independent contractor or freelancer as part of your labor force the cost of hiring contracted labor is fully tax deductible note though that you must issue form miscellaneous 1099 to any contract worker receiving six hundred dollars or more from you in, in any given tax year so if the employee is is being paid via credit card or paypal the payment processor must issue the worker form 1099k Number five, startup and organizational cost. This is very important also that you have to think about. So and our first small business tax deductions come with a caveat. It's not, it's not actually a, a tax deduction. Business startup costs are seen as a capital expense by the IRS because they are an investment in your business because the money hasn't actually left the business. It was just transformed into an asset. So deductions for capital expenses typically occur over several years. And uh, in, uh, in accounting terminology, this is known as amortization. So you're amortizing, you're amortizing the, uh, the startup cost. And this helps ensure that the business accurately evaluate profitability year over year. Number six, software subscription. So if you've bought or downloaded software for your business, this can be deducted. A lot of um, 
a lot of uh, small business owners overlook this this break this tax break very important and this includes here i'm talking about also mobile applications those are part of uh, those are things you can uh, write up also number seven interest so if you have a small business loan you'll make interest payments on what you're borrowing from the lender right those interest payments are usually fully tax deductible as long as the loan is used to cover business expenses so to claim this deduction the business owner must be legally liable for the debt and the business owner and the lender must have a debtor creditor relationship in other words the loan must be through a traditional lender and not a friend or family member you can also deduct inventory some so some inventory based businesses will manufacture products or purchase them for a resale right and uh, if this is your business model you can actually write off the cost of your inventory or the cost of the goods you sell you generally must value inventory at the beginning and end of each tax year to determine your cost of goods sold and uh, let me give you a few expenses that go into figuring out the cost of goods sold you have things like the cost of products or raw materials including the freight storage direct labor costs including contributions to pensions or annuity plans to for workers who produce the products and factory overhead number nine bad debt this is a this is a biggie this is one that a lot of folks overlook so if you ever lent money to an employee or a vendor without receiving it back you can claim that back as a bad debt and the same applies if a customer doesn't pay you so you just need to be able to prove that it was a business debt rather than personal debt so the irs defines bad debt as a loss from the worthlessness of a debt that was either created or acquired in a trade or business or closely related to your trade or business when it became par partially to totally worthless so the following are examples of business bad debts loan to clients suppliers distributors and employees credit sales to customers or business loan guarantees number 10 utilities so any utilities that you use for uh, your, your business are fully deductible here I'm talking about everything from uh, water electricity trash and telephone bills now let me kind of let me put let me give you a caveat here though if you have a home office and you use a landline the cost of the first landline is not deductible but su subsequent landlines are number 11 employee gifts those are 100 deductible up to 25 dollars per year per employee according to iris publication 463 number 12 and this is one uh, small business tax deduction that a lot of people overlook it's insurance so most businesses if you agree with me right they, they'll take out some form of insurance so the cost of the business owner's health insurance the business con continuation insurance what they call business interruption insurance and the business owner's policy those are 100 percent deductible other types of deductible insurance policies include property insurance for example you have liability coverage you have uh, malpractice insurance you have workers compensation costs you have auto insurance you also have you can also deduct the business provided employee life insurance and business interruption insurance now one thing i need to mention though health insurance with health insurance a small business may also qualify for up to a 50 percent tax credit under the qualified small business health reimbursement arrangement the qsera we actually have an entire show dedicated an uh, entire show covering rather the QSERA, so you might want to just search into our, in, our, in our database of videos and you'll find exactly that video I'm talking about. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are also having a conversation around the top 10 the top 20 rather not 10 the top 20 small business tax deductions most taxpayers overlook and i'm and i'm trying to help you save thousands of dollars in in tax season or after tax season number 13 auto expenses so if you have a car let's say you have a car for business purposes you can usually deduct anything considered a car expense nonetheless and i want you to remember this you got to have records that prove business usage as well as keep track of your miles 
And conversely, you can rely on the IRS standard mileage rate, which is uh, currently 57.5 cents. And uh, this is per mile. So if you use your car for both for, um, let's say, um, both business and uh, personal purposes, you got to divide your expenses based on actual mileage. And if you want to have more info, just uh, go read uh, the IRS publication 463. Number 14, employee benefits programs. You can also deduct certain employee benefit programs. Here I'm talking about qualified retirement plan account, life insurance adoption assistance, dependent care assistance, education assistance. So if you are a self-employed individual, contribution to your own retirement plans or personal deductions claimed on Form 1040. Number 15, business entertainment. Now, this is another one that a lot of people overlook. And uh, so if you are entertaining client with meals and events, you can deduct that because this is necessary. If it is necessary to your business, you can sure write it off. Note that most meal costs are only deductible up to 50%. But certain types of meals, such as a meal provided at an office party or 100% deductible, you got to be sure of the place, folks to save your receipt and note the business purpose of the meal in order to maximize this deduction. Number 16, rent and depreciation on equipment and machinery. So if you lease equipment or machinery for your business, you can fully deduct this cost. And this, again, here we have, uh, we're looking at the whole gamut. You can deduct anything from printers and, co and copiers to vans and trucks. You can also claim depreciation on equipment and machinery. However, this cost must be uh, deducted over several years, so you have to you have to depreciate them, right? So in order to do this, you have you got to go to uh, section uh, 179. You got to claim a section one, uh, 179 deduction, and this allows business owners to deduct up to one million twenty thousand for from new or used property in service during the tax year. Number 17, office supplies. So everything from paper and boxes and paints and staples, you might be you might be sitting here and saying, you know, those, those are kind of small. Yes, they are small, but guess what? They all cost money. There is, a there is a reason why they came there in the first place. They didn't just show up in your office, so they cost money. So you can deduct those expenses from your taxes. Same for uh, number 18, office furniture. So this is considered a type of office supplies and can therefore be deducted just as you would deduct printer, paper, or cleaning products. Number 19, employee salaries. So in general, your employee wages are fully deductible. This includes bonuses and commissions. Nonetheless, this deduction does not apply to sole proprietors, partners, and LLC members because these individuals are not considered employees. Number 20, taxes. Now, this might sound a little strange to you, but guess what? The taxes you incur from just running your business are deductible. Those taxes might be federal, state, and local income. You might also have uh, real estate or sales taxes. Your employer taxes, such as the, uh, the employer share of uh, FICA, FUDA, and uh, state unemployment taxes are also fully deductible. Now, let me just tell you how to claim. How do you actually claim on those a small business tax deduction to claim those deductions as a sole proprietorship? You must fill out a Schedule C tax form. This is this Schedule C is form is used actually to determine the taxable profit in your business during the tax year. You then have to report this profit on your personal 1040 form and calculate the taxes due from there. So if you need assistance filing your taxes, Many accounting services can pair you with a tax pro to assist with filing. You can even, you can even actually use the software like uh, H&R Block, Turbo Tax, Tax Act, a lot of them out there to file your own taxes as long as it's not really that complicated. And so here's a recap. So all of these options that I've been talking to you there, they are all of these options and deductions are there for your small business. But guess what? It's up to you to use them. So you got you you need to be organized make sure you save receipts and, and record every expense in in uh, in a top-notch software accounting software or even mobile app right the great thing here is that there are even free accounting software programs you can use all right folks this is it thank you so much for today's your attention today i really appreciate it here are as a recap the 20 
the top 20 small business tax deductions mostly overlooked. Number one, travel expenses. Two, business property rent. Number three, professional services. Number four, contracted labor. Number five, startup and organizational cost. Number six, software subscription. Number seven, interest. Number eight, inventory. Number nine, bad debt. Number 10, utilities. 11, employee gifts. 12, insurance. 13, auto expenses. 14, employee benefits program. Programs. Number 15, business entertainment. Number 16, rent and depreciation on equipment and machinery. Number 17, office supplies. Number 18, office furniture. Number 19, employee salaries. And number 20, taxes. I will see you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.